Hello and welcome to the Part-Time Nerd. I'm your host, Phoenix Rises. Today we are running Ascalonian Catacombs Explorable Mode Path 1. We want to show you everything a dungeon has to offer, guys. This means we don't skip, glitch, or take shortcuts. I'm joined today on Skype by Regal. Hello, hello. And J-Bones. Jello. As well as several other guildies that will be helping me make this video today. Alright, so this first room here, there are three spike traps on the ground. You can jump across a few of the sarcophagi to dodge them, and a Graveling Breeder is going to spawn. You're going to see a lot of Graveling Bre Breeders in the dungeon. They spawn smaller Gravelings, take them out quick, or you could get overwhelmed. Probably not. There's usually not that many of them, and they burn down pretty quick. Here are the faithful NPCs, paths 1, 2, and 3. They come in, they talk a little bit. If you have an AoE Swift, as j is about to show us, you can Swift them to get them through the path when they start walking a little quicker. Otherwise, you're standing around the fire in the next room waiting for a couple minutes as they walk slower than the speed of smell. Look at that speed. There we go. Perfect. And then when they get to the top of the stairs, I believe they give up anyways and move. Yeah, look at that jog. Look at that slow-mo, like, beach run. <laughs> <laughs> They're practicing for Baywatch. <laughs> oh, yeah. All right, so for the video's sake, just to cut down on time, we're going to skip all the cinematics. Feel free to watch them when you're uh, doing the dungeon by yourself. But let the group know you'd like to watch cinematics. Just common courtesy. Some groups don't want to have someone in their group that wants to watch every single cinematic. You don't know what Babe Watch is? Baywatch. Where did, Bay <laughs> <laughs> Where did that come from? Did oh. we pick a pat? Wow. We're the we best the guide ever. Just so you know, you do have to talk to the NPC to pick the path before running down the stairs. We were just very excited. Killing <laughs> stuff is just a lot of fun. <laughs> we were a little overly excited. There we go. So talk to Shrill over there to pick your path on whose plan you're going to go with. We're going to go with Hodgins for path one. Now we're going to run down the stairs. <laughs> Whoops. Sorry, right, guys. I'm already at the mound. <laughs> a Graveling Burrow spawns at the bottom of the stairs. It spawns oh. Graveling Hatchlings, is it? Yes. Graveling Hatchlings. Unlimited till the burrow is destroyed. Destroy the burrow to stop the Gravelings. Simple mechanic. Easy. It's sort of a precursor of what's to come in this dungeon. There we go. Next room here are traps. Fire turrets in the center, spike traps on the side. Avoid them, they do sting. And then this next hallway on the right hand side, triple fire turrets. Once again, dodge them, they sting. Now we're onto the first. <laughs> Good demonstration. Uh. You meant to do that, right? No, it hurts. <laughs> it hurts, it hurts. <laughs> this first room is where the first boss spawns. Regal, are you okay? There you go, you're good. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It really sucks when someone dies on the turret, because you don't want to get yourself killed trying to bring them back. Yeah. So this first room, you don't want to run up those stairs. You want to kill all the little adds here, all these little spiders real quickly first. There will be great uh, gargoyle heads on the walls also firing fireballs at you. Kill them all before running up the stairs as that spawns the spider queen. Yeah, those guys are super annoying. Which one? The gargoyle turns? abilities are really effective. Yeah. Oh, someone ran up the stairs. Okay, so when the spider queen does spawn... Did anyone actually run up the stairs? I didn't yeah. see that. Yeah, it looks like someone did. I'm not sure who, but it's okay. It happens. End result is she spawns a whole bunch more spider hatchlings. You want to target those down first. Kill the adds first. Same mechanic as any other boss fight. Kill the small things first, then aim for the big one together. We do not play fair here. <laughs> Don't want her to have her pets. Come on. She kills ours easily. They're not pets. Those are her children. They're pets. Ooh. There we go. Simple mechanic, dodge the giant AoE fields on the ground, easy to spot, easy to dodge out of if you're not immobilized by her webbing she fires out like that. There it is. Nothing too tricky. Yeah, her basic attack, attack isn't particularly strong. You can get in there. Melee her pretty well too. I'm immobilized right next to Sophia, who's a giant lich. There you go. Hey, stop being immobilized. There we go. Ah, oh, that's gonna hurt. As Axe always, follow. as always, Hodgins, our NPC, is dead. You know, don't expect him to be around for more than 10 seconds of any fight. 
No, he's either getting himself killed or he's getting you killed. It's gonna be one of the two. <laughs> Give me my flag. I, I like this flag. Look, look. I'm gonna stop her. <laughs> so do I. I. Guys, gargoyle head, take that down and res this Hodgins guy. For the next the fight, down. the next fight in that hallway, you gotta be a little careful. There's a patrol that goes up and down the hallway. As you can see at the bottom, so we got lucky. If they're not there, just wait for them to patrol there and kill them down here. This patrol of Gravelings, you do not want to fight in that hallway. It is filled with all sorts of spike traps. It'll get you all killed. Pull them down here, fight them at the base of the stairs. Or in our case, let them knock you back there. That that works too. They, they pulled us. That's fine. <laughs> <laughs> they pushed us, actually. They're helping us with the video. Yep. They just want to make sure that we get down there way faster. I worked it out with their manager. <laughs> and, there, and there is a golden yeah. graveling... Hey guys, it'll work really great if you just do this. <laughs> and there's a golden graveling stalker. Stalkers work by burrowing underground, knocking back your allies, and if they hit an ally, they go into an evasive form, a ghosted form where they cannot be hurt. So try not to get your team... Try not to get hit or let your teammates get hit by that burrow charge, and you'll be fine. It also works on pets. If you have a pet summoned, for example, the ranger, it counts and he'll go into his, uh, into his evasive form. Excuse me, guys. Words are hard today. Words are difficult. Words are hard every day, man. <laughs> Do you get himself stuck in a corner? That's reasonable. I don't know why I dodged. Sweet dodge. Sweet dodge. I dodged randomly for no reason next to you. I just wanted to show off my sick moves. Alright, so here's all the traps we were discussing. All these are spike traps. Just uh, try not to get yourself skewered. Go, go, go. Good luck, guys. I'll wait here. Or you can be lazy like J Bones and wait at the bottom for someone to come up here or and you pull can be this smart chain. Like J Bones and wait down here. <laughs> pull the chain, it deactivates the traps for anyone who just really can't make it. Some teammates just can't make it up that course, that's fine. Stronger ones will run it, turn it off, everyone else can make it up. Yep. There's two dark two dargoyles. I just Whoops. figure I stand the least chance, so I'll go last. <laughs> if everyone else fails, that's when I'll have to like Man show up. them that it's a good thing I stayed down there. All right, just gonna open the map here real quick. This is Full Fire's heart. This is where the next legendary of the dungeon is. That is Lieutenant Collar. Three simple mechanics for this fight. He starts with two vets. He gets another set of two vets every 25% health. So at 75, at 50, and at 25. He has two of the thief's moves. He has Scorpion Wire, except an AOE version, and Dagger Storm. So his tell is he'll lift his blade, such as so. There we go, and he'll throw out those little cords. To scorpion wire everyone in close to him. Then he'll do his dagger storm where he's spinning around, reflecting projectiles and doing damage to anyone he's pulled in. And that's he's it. Like that's a super scorpion from uh, Mortal Kombat. Get over here! <laughs> yeah, and then he just messes it's not just one the old dirty uppercut. Everybody get over here. <laughs> I think they should give him an uppercut rather than dagger storm. That'd be great. Oh man, that'd be too powerful. <laughs> There's the dagger or the pull again. There we go. Just gotta watch for when he lifts his blades. It's very simple, very easy to dodge. Just keep your eyes open. Don't be wearing a blindfold during this fight. It's not a good idea. We seem to be getting lucky. His ads keep spawning right on him, and we have a lot of AoE, so his ads are dying very quickly. Uh oh, oh he's a little bit captive. He has to call friends to help. Hmm? Yeah. Still doesn't yeah, help him. He can't take five of us on at a time. What a bitch. Right? <laughs> <laughs> There we go. That's pretty much it. This guy's toast. That's it. That's all she's wrote. There we go. Done and done. Just grab my loot. Loot, loot, loot. Now this next part is what people argue is the hardest part of the dungeon. A real test for your group that you've brought in. Hodgins is going to run down here. Guys, let's just wait at the top of the stairs so I can explain it before we run in and get our ass is possibly kicked. So you run down past these fire turrets here. Once you get down there, Hodgins is going to start reading a book on the table. You can sort of see there at the top of the screen. Once he starts reading, Graveling Mounts spawn all across the room. You have to take those out as quickly as possible or you will be overwhelmed by the Gravelings. Or, sorry, Hodgins will be overwhelmed and killed. Once he's killed, you restart. The Graveling Mounts are in finna spawn. You have to take out the Mounts themselves for the event to end. Now, a nifty trick, if you have an Ellie in your group, which we so happen to, one of our guildies does play an Ellie, so it helps us out a bit, they can summon Frostbows. Frostbows do additional 
additional damage to, s to things standing still, aka structures, basically the Graveling Mound. So I'm going to grab one here and show off sort of how it works, the number 4 ability here, here's a Graveling Mound. You don't have to do this, it makes it a little easier, it's not necessary. It's good to have in the group, as you can see, we just burned but down But oh man, is it super handy. It is super handy to have. One thing we're all for here on the part-time nerd, though, is you don't need to use a build. We have run this dungeon multiple times before without using the Frostbow. It does work. It's just a matter of it does make it easier. Yeah. This is definitely a tricky part. No one will think less of you for doing it. Mm -hmm. There we go. So we're just going to take this out. As a ranger, you do want to try and bring a melee weapon, which I have unfortunately forgotten because I keep getting those obstructed bonuses, as you can see, or bonuses, uh, obstructed words coming up for the mound, which Stop clearly is... Me. Oh, I'm getting hurt. Those are your bonuses. I don't want. I don't want to know what your dis. <laughs> My disadvantages are. <laughs> yeah. Great <laughs> bonuses. Everything's obstructed. And you guys are coming on in here. We're down to two more burrows left. Yeah. So. Ah. Frostbows are helpful. Something we're not going to turn away if we have it in our group, but not necessary. Yeah. Now Hodgins Definitely is getting. If you have the opportunity, just take the opportunity. Hodgins is getting beat up over here, so you got to pull the aggro from the Gravelings. Just make sure you punch him once oh, yes, or twice. Oh, yes, that's something you definitely have to keep an eye on. Mm -hmm. You don't want to interrupt his reading. <laughs> He's a, dude, he, he can't just do it again after you've taken care of everything. All right, guys, here's a Frostbow. Let's go kill the Graveling Barret Burrow. So they're keeping Hodgins alive. What we're going to do here is just snipe that thing. There we oh, go. So close. Man. <laughs> and the burrow is officially... Rally is making a happy <sighs> man. As you can see, this is where the obstructed bonus just sucks. There we go. I, was, I threw like 12 axes at that burrow. Just obstructed. 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 Now, uh, hold up here, guys. I'll show this next part. This next part, Hodgins opens a door to a room. You have to run up to the top to find a scepter that disappears into pieces, and you find it in the next portion of this dungeon. So here we go. Little mini jumping puzzle over here. There we go. Just up here. Go check the upper section. Oh, I'm stupid. And there you are. Come to the sarcophagus. I dumb forgot my chest. There you go. Now you got some loot. There we go. And down we go. You get a waypoint for this. The next portion is sort of a weird part. You don't really kill the mobs in there. There's a very overwhelming force. The easiest way to do it is to run in grab the portions of the staff that you need, and just simply walk out. Alright guys, everyone ready? Uh, easier way than I, what I'm about to do is, instead of walking, just waypoint to the center. Oops. <laughs> it's awfully nice to use that there map. <laughs> Nothing wrong with using the map. Uh, Cerns are wonderful. They created this warping technology. They're also jackasses. <laughs> Because <laughs> they charge you for it. <laughs> that was about to, I was exactly about to say that. Because it cost me like four silver to warp across the map. Jeez. Hey, hey, hey. Technology comes at a cost. What? <laughs> there we go. I think four silver is pretty reasonable by the end of the game. So we're not going to skip these mobs. You make that in like anything. ten minutes. Yeah, very true. But imagine how much you make if you never had to pay that fee. Ah, see? Oh, I'm sure I've sunk some money into it. Get tags and all this stuff. I'm just saying, if it were real life, and I could just do that, and it cost me like say ten bucks every time, that would no, be I probably cool. wouldn't mind. That would be pretty cool. Kind of what you pay for the bus as it is anyway. Yeah, well, the bus isn't instantaneous, and the exactly. bus doesn't always show up. <laughs> well, what if like? What? They also smell. smell. They also smell. Yeah, <laughs> I will give our guildy that. They do smell. Hands down. Well, you never know. Maybe this teleportation leads a really bad after smell. Let's hope not. You know what? I never thought of that. All right, so oozes. coming through this next room, a bunch of oozes are going to spawn. They're always fun to beat up. They turn into puddles. <laughs> you see here, nothing too complex. There was a bunch of gravelings in that hallway, and now we're killing oozes. That's how Tyria creates its jello. <laughs> Find some ghastly ooze, kill it, absorb it, you're good. All right, here we go. So bring Hodgins to this room where he can do some more reading while you do the hard part. Find the scepter pieces. So in this next room, you may want to bring a speed of some sort as well as some sort of stability. 
So here's one of the Flaming Scepter Fragments. We're going to grab this. That's one of five. Now, a bunch of Gravings are going to spawn. Most, some groups can choose to fight and kill these. The easiest way is just to run in and grab them. There are pretty large forces in here. Most groups will just do this. We're just going to show you how to quickly run it's by not recommended to fight all these dudes. No, it's a lot to fight. There's another we'll Scepter Fragment over yeah. there. Plus, anything with this much knockdown is just not an enemy meant to be fought. Regal, did you grab that one? Or did you miss yeah, it over there? Yeah, we're doing good. Alright, we're at four or five, I believe. Where's the last one? Isn't it on this end of the room? I always forget where the last one is. In the middle here. Right in the middle, you got it? Perfect, right there. So, Run away! And you see, those were, all f those were all five pieces. Nice and uh -oh. easy. Regal, are you in combat? I am. I'm running Right, we did lose a couple guildies. You can run in there, try to res them. You will get killed just as easily by the overwhelming odds. Just run back to the end of the the room here. Let them come back in out of combat. There you go. So our guildies stayed back here. Sometimes one person stays back while the others run in. All he has to do is talk to Hodgins. Hodgins will immediately deactivate the event for you and bring up this waypoint. Not necessary, but makes it easier for Save you. Save me! Save you? Nicely done. There we go. That crazy earthquake. For some reason, Hodgins still wants to fight. Yeah. So Hodgins made a little earthquake here. It spawns a entrance, which is around the corner. Basically caved in. There we are. There's all the gravelings. Yeah. Cave Take advantage entrance. of your map. As you can see here. Goes around back that way. Got a couple stalkers, bunch of little hatchlings, nothing big. There we go. Earth. Get him, fellas. <laughs> it's hard to get him when most of your team is just laying down on the job, just saying. Anyone else notice right, that? Take it off. We're good. <laughs> no, take him lay on the ground. So in a real fight, if someone, if your friend gets knocked down, you just yell, shake it off. Yeah, just yell, shake it off. You and can only fun. yell it once every 15 seconds, though. Oh, okay. <laughs> that's, that's a good stipulation. Balance issues. <laughs> <laughs> Balance issues, guys. Hey, man, my voice is only so strong. <laughs> if I can yell at you and you just magically stand up, that's something to talk about. So most players run through this part. This part isn't too overwhelming. Just pull them out of the fire traps. You can fight these groups. We're going to pull them and fight them back here. Let's try and get there. Out. There we go. That's... We don't want to pull both groups, though. Got to be a little careful. There's their little tunnel. For some reason, my pet doesn't decide the middle of the room is the best spot to stand. Oh! So you gotta be careful of those AoEs. You don't want them to get that evading bonus. So just watch for the big red circles and dodge. Whoa, I'm getting juggled. <laughs> no, I just got juggled like three times in a row. That was awesome. Yeah, I'm getting knocked around. There, go. there is a gold in here, so just be careful. Shut up, boss. <laughs> Clearly it's not. <laughs> there we go. Look out! Oh, I got tagged. Oh, sweet Jesus. Is this guy still underground or is he. Oh, he's ghosted. I just didn't even see him. Yeah, the stalkers also have that ability. Oh, look out! Yeah, it's all stalkers. Just the stalkers have it. Oh, even the yeah, even the gold, even yeah, the stock. You meant He's the rank. He's just a tough stalker. <laughs> the, the silvers and golds have it. Yeah. He's a fancy stalker. Nice and easy, burn this guy down. I make a pretty good team. Oh, damn you and your evade! Damn you, good sir. <laughs> All right, come on, guys, dodge us. I even switched my pet. <laughs> Good job, J-Bones. Jeez, flying down on the job. It was nap time. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you could just shake it off. Only every 15 seconds. <laughs> well, I could have shaken that one off, actually. But, why bother? He's going to evade everything I do for the next few seconds anyway. <laughs> Fair enough. All right, let's dodge this one. Come on, guys. Get out of it. And my pet got hit, but that's okay. He still died. Who cares? <laughs> We're good. 
So watch the fire traps in this hallway. You want to walk right on through, hit the next group. Let's just get out of these fire traps. Fire traps. A wild regal has passed by my screen. <laughs> <laughs> I still got the, the the Pokemon reference from a couple videos ago <laughs> in my head. There we go. Well, no, oh, my flag. <laughs> If I were to compare my character to a Pokemon, it would probably be Meowth. <laughs> oh God! Truly <laughs> love money. So money you throw all money. your money at people. That's that's terrible. <laughs> yeah, a couple recordings ago, what guys, we were talking about how the Ranger reminds me ridiculously of a Pokemon Master. If you open up the Pet tab, there's a good chunk of pets you can have, each with their own strengths, weaknesses, and abilities. Honestly, it feels like being a Pokemon Master. <laughs> it's hilarious. Your character even fire. yells out. Your character even yells out sometimes, I chose you! <laughs> Let's see if I can get him to say it. No, it didn't work. Sort of torch this guy. Yeah. Quickly! <laughs> Alright. You hold the ocean's power, you guys. Alrighty, so here is the first boss, or sorry, the first boss, the final boss. The word was close, we're good. The Howling King. He has a sonic cone of death you gotta watch out for, as well as he sways in a, a circle, then shoots out a laser that inflicts confusion. He also spawns additional enemies uh, every so often. When he does that, don't target them, pull them into the fire fields he spawns. He's right here in the very end of the dungeon at the Lair of the Patriarch. So here's the fire fields. You can see when I was in the map, he spawned one on me. He's going to be spawning adds. Pull them through the fire fields. It instantly kills them. Most of his, his attacks come from the front. So if you stand behind him, you're much more likely to not die. Yeah, stay spread out. Don't don't group up together all standing in a nice little line yeah, for him. Don't oh. stand in a line. Here's some Gravelings. He, uh, he has no fire fields yet to drag through. Unless that's one. There we go. Come on, you little guys. Over here. Oh, man, that confusion is there you murder. Go. See how the Gravelings die instantly? You want to pull them into those fire fields to take them out. Yeah, you don't want to be fighting all those silvers oh. and legendary. Piece. Yep. I got knocked into a field. That was perfect because all of them jumped at me and just died. Fun little fact, those Here's fire fields are created by the staff that you search through the entire dungeon floor. The more you know. <laughs> the oh. more you know. <laughs> oh, God. oh, I just got knocked down. Oh, Jesus. Yeah, there's that Stop. cone of death. Who wants to help me? <laughs> oh, save ne me. Necro Guild is taking care of me. You mean you can't just shake it off? Oh, nope. I can't shake this one off. Sweet Jesus, I'm going to die. Don't do it. It's a trick. All right, there we go. Get them in the fire. <laughs> Once again, watch out for your guildies, your, guildies, your group uh, members. If someone goes down, help them up. It's always best to fight yeah, the full group. You're going to need them very shortly, so <laughs> don't mess around. I should have left my conditional little signal on. So I break yeah. There we go, and he's toast. Nice, easy ending cinematic, and a wonderful ending chest. You get your 60 tokens, your silver, your karma, and your experience. Thank you all for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe or check us out on Twitter and Facebook. Our next episode, we will be doing uh, Ascalonian Catacombs Explorable Path 2.